Kia ora koutou, I'm Satish Ranchod. Welcome back to Westpac's Trading Floor and our weekly look at the New Zealand economy. This week we had the latest New Zealand inflation figures and they showed that annual inflation has dropped to 6%. That's down from rates of over 7% last year. But while inflation is down, it's not low by any stretch of the imagination. And under the surface, we're continuing to see strong price pressures. In fact, if we look through the volatile movements in items like petrol, underlying inflation pressures are continuing to rise. We've seen domestic price pressures remaining strong 18 months after the Reserve Bank started hiking interest rates. Now the reason for that continued strength in inflation is that the New Zealand economy is actually in pretty good shape. GDP growth has slowed, but the level of demand is still elevated and our labour market is still very tight. And the combination of those conditions has meant that we're seeing continued pressure on operating costs, output prices and wages. That's very important for the Reserve Bank. This continued price pressures means that inflation is unlikely to be back within the Reserve Bank's target band until the latter part of next year at the earliest. Now the Reserve Bank has signalled that they expect to keep the official cash rate at its current level of 5.5% for an extended period. However, with those very strong price pressures, we still see the risk that the Reserve Bank will need to increase the cash rate again. Importantly, we think the chances of interest rate cuts are very remote at this stage. That's it for me this week. We'll talk to you again next time. Kakiti anō.